Fat burners. The supplement that has been in the fat loss industry for too long. If you type fat burners onto any online e-commerce store, you'll be presented with millions of options on so many similar products. The question is, should you take them? An acquaintance of mine faced a problem similar to many other people where he was impatient with the process of fat loss and he wanted things sped up. Hence, he decided to settle for a fat burner, one that he could easily buy online. Did it work? Partially. He was seeing inconsistent changes with his weight days on and off the usage and he was motivated to have it drop faster. So one day, he decided to go with triple the usual dosage. What happened after? In less than 10 minutes of consumption, he started to experience difficulty in breathing. His heart was also pounding out of control. When asked if this condition was normal for him, he said that he had begun experiencing elevated heart rates ever since he started to take the fat burners. But it was the worst on the day he took the overdose. What exactly do fat burners do and how does it help us lose weight? A common thing that most fat burners today do is elevate our heart rate. When taken in safe doses, our heart rate elevates to a rate that is slightly higher than usual. This helps us burn fat because, similar to cardio, which is an exercise that is commonly believed to help us shed off extra calories that we have consumed, our bodies burn more energy with an elevated heart rate. When the heart works harder, so does our metabolism. Now that we know how fat burners work, is it still worth buying it? The average cost of a fat burner can range between $50 and $180 and they last between 3 and 6 weeks. This might be affordable to some people and it might seem like a good idea for a while but when it is looked at in the long run, it can be financially draining. To me, it isn't all that worth it because the most effective and long term method to burn fat is through your diet and the food you eat which is why the phrase apps are made in the kitchen is commonly heard. The other method is to adopt a strength training routine. I am a calisthenics athlete who trains for 4-5 to five days a week. Whenever I train, I perspire. This makes my face very dirty. I've always neglected my face and sometimes I can get breakouts that are really bad and therefore I've always longed for a skincare routine and a solution that offers clean and healthy skin. Hence, I want to bring you the sponsor of this video, Teach Henley. Teach Henley helps men start and maintain a skincare routine by simplifying the entire process. The packaging itself comes with an instruction card and manual on how to use the products. Teach Henley's level 1 system comes with all the basics like a daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grind on your skin. There's also a 2 times a week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells. What I like about Teach Henley's products is that they have an AM moisturizer that you use in the morning that is packed with SPF 20 that protects your skin from excessive sunlight exposure. And they also have a PM moisturizer that helps your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. Their products have made my skin look and feel better than ever. They have over 7,000 5-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from all around the world. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Henley get tons of benefits as well, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box and exclusive monthly deals. You can pause or cancel at any time and the best part is there is free shipping if you are purchasing within the US and low cost shipping to most other countries. And since Teach Henley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering you a great deal. Just click the first link in the description below and you'll get 30% off your first box and a free gift. Click that link in the description and get started on your very own skincare routine today. Now let's get back to the video. In my previous video on the easiest way to lose belly fat, I talked about the benefits of protein and why it is necessary to consume adequate protein. Protein is a complex molecule that forces your body to work harder when breaking it down for energy and therefore raises your metabolism. The link to the video will be in the description below if you haven't watched it so go ahead and check it out. The question is, how can we get the most protein out of foods that we consume? Let's compare two protein bars with their nutrition label presented on the packaging. Both bars look very similar and appealing and look like they are high in protein. So let's take a look at what their nutrition macros say. 
protein bar 1 has a total calorie count of 200 with 3.2 grams of protein. Protein bar 2 has a total calorie count of 140 with 7 grams of protein. To ensure that the protein you are consuming is worth the calories, it has to be at least 20% of the total amount of calories that you are consuming. How can that be calculated? It can simply be done by taking the amount of protein that a food item has, multiplying it by 4, and then dividing it by the total amount of calories present in that food item. The number that you are left with refers to the percentage of that macro that is present in the food item that you are consuming. Let's apply this example to the bars that we have. Let's start with bar 1. With a calorie count of 200 and a protein value of 3.2 grams, we'll multiply 3.2 by 4 to give us 12.8. We'll then take 12.8 and divide it by 200 to give us 0.064. To get the percentage in two whole numbers, multiply this number by 100 and we get 6.4. Bar 1 only provides a total of 3.2 grams of protein in 200 calories and out of the whole bar of calories you consume, only 6.4% of it is protein. Let's now compare it to bar 2. Bar 2 has a calorie count of 140 and a protein value of 7 grams. Let's multiply 7 by 4 to give us 28 and divide that number by 140. We'll end up with 0.2 which adds up to a total of 20% protein after you multiply it by 100. In most foods that you consume, try to ensure that 20% of the calories that you eat is protein. This can help you feel fuller between meals and ensures that you have the required nutrients to build muscle from your strength training. Now that you know exactly how to calculate the percentage of protein in foods, make sure you purchase smartly from your grocery stores to ensure that you get the best amounts of protein for your buck. The entire concept of weight loss and metabolism as a whole is a huge topic that people spend up to 3 years just to understand so what I want to do is simplify that process. There is also a lot of misinformation all over the internet regarding weight loss so I went to do my own research. I've done up an ebook that focuses solely on explaining the, in the simplest terms what calories are and how metabolism works in the human body. I've also decided to make this ebook slightly more affordable than my usuals because I think that information like this should be easily accessible for anybody who is trying to improve themselves. You will be able to find this ebook in the description below so go ahead and check it out. Do also remember to check out T Chan Lee's Uncomplicated Skin Care for Men. Receive 30% off your first box by clicking the first link in the description below. When I was younger, I did not have a coach or a guide to help me in my training or to tell me if what I was doing was right or wrong. If I had someone to help me, I would have made so much lesser mistakes and progressed so much faster. Therefore, I want to bring this time to let you guys know that if you have any questions regarding fitness as a whole, drop me a DM on IG and I will try my best to help you.